know they have to be gunning for Judson, and here is Eric Jones! Touchdown! The Huskies reign as number one in the state. Just may well be over. Harry Jones breaks the two or three tackles right here. Right here at the line of scrimmage. Comes through with you know, just great power. Bust, busting three tackles at least on that uh, on that touchdown run. Of course, you're talking about the state, number one state ranking of homes. You know, they've also you know, been ranked as high as number two, I think, in the nation right That's now. That's right. They were currently ranked number two in the USA Today newspaper. Number two in the nation as Judson tries the two-point conversion. Do they get it? Yes, indeed. Trevino carries it in for the two-point conversion. 3-19 left to play in the fourth quarter, and the Judson Rockets have scored 25. Now make that 26 unanswered points. They were down 22 to 21. They lead 47 to 22. And perhaps well on their way to the state quarterfinal round next week. We'll be right back. This coming this Saturday, Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls make their only San Antonio appearance when they take on the Spurs at the Hemisphere Arena. You can buy one ticket and get one free by picking up a two-for-one coupon at any Taco Bell. The first 7,000 fans will also receive a free pom-pom and a token which can be redeemed for a free taco. It will be an all-star matchup as Alvin Robertson and the Spurs try to slow down the NBA's leading scorer. John Rook and John Osborne back live at Alamo Stadium. It has been a dandy this afternoon, but we have seen ground control deluxe performed this afternoon by the Judson Rockets offense, led by Eric Jones. The senior tailback, 13 carries, 161 yards on the ground thus far, and three touchdowns. Earl Kaufman set to kick it away. And the Holmes Huskies, as we've mentioned, may be looking at their last ball game of the year as Tony Hawkins chooses to run it up and he is swarmed under at his own 10. Tony Hawkins on the return. Well, you hate to start writing the epitaph to this home season. At 11-0 coming into this, they have held the number one ranking of the state in all wire service polls since week one. As you see the Judson ride, I tell you what, I don't think a coach could ask for more. They took off almost five minutes on the clock, drove the ball 86 yards, and got a superb performance from Eric Jones on the drive. Well, that was just a great drive on Judson's part. And of course, it's aided by the 15-yard penalty on the late hit out of bounds, but uh, it's still a great drive. Well, Verodum, let's see how many more tricks he has left in his black bag as Keith Cash has the ball. Option pass, going to let it fly. The ball was tipped and intercepted. This could be six. He's got a roll. Touchdown. Number 45 and Saunders. His second score of the day. And this one, my friends, has gotten out of hand. Oh, if you're wearing red and white, or red and gray as the case may be, you are beside yourself right now. Started out with the option play. Keith Cash had the ball or just had it slip out of his hands. Yeah, he's coming back around. Of course, great pressure. He's going to try to hit Odom, Odom back down on the sideline from quarterback position after the flip uh, back to, to uh, Keith Cash. Went down the far sideline. Of course, the ball was tipped. Uh, stuck it up in the air. Saunders makes a great interception, takes it on in for a touchdown. There was a personal foul on the play by the Holmes Huskies. There was a flag down in case you saw it on the field. I managed to notice it right before the end. It was personal foul against Holmes. It was declined. The touchdown return by Saunders is good. And Jesus Escobedo is on to try the point after. It is good. Oh, man. Would you have ever thought this would happen this afternoon? 2.57 left, and the Rockets lead 54 to 22. That is 33 now unanswered points by the Judson Rockets after Holmes took the lead 22 to 21. John, I tell you, celebration has, uh, has indeed started on the Judson sideline. I know Coach Redley's jumping up and down, hugging all of his, all of his coaches. Kids are jumping up and down. Of course, it's just a great, exciting moment for them. 
having to get shut down in a tight ball game like this last year and almost being able to come back on them last year. Of course, of course, we can evidence now on the you know, on the scoreboard, they've just really taken control of this ball game in the second half. And I think from a defensive standpoint, they've done a good job. Offensively, it's like you said earlier, the old ground control ball type offense, moving down for points, take, eating the time off the clock. They've just done a tremendous job at it. Well, most assuredly, the Judson Rockets deserve to win this football game today. They were the better of the two teams out on this field. Now, if they were to line up and play it again tomorrow, no one is sure what would happen. But the way these two teams can put the ball into the air, keep it on the ground, put the points on the board, as we have had witness to this afternoon. But the Judson Rockets, number two in the state, looking to move up to number one as D.W. Rutledge is definitely, definitely charged up with the way things have gone for his red and gray this afternoon. Earl Kaufman set to kick it off as we have 2.57 left here in Alamo Stadium. Back it up. I'll tell you one guy on that sideline that's all happening. That's Jimmy Rackler, who's their offensive coordinator for Judson. He's just he's just excited down there, running up and down, clapping, jumping up and down, having a great time right now. Well, the Huskies will put it in play from their own 20-yard line. Try to get something else on the scoreboard. But for all practical purposes, this one is over. I think we can safely say I'm not even sure Holmes can come back from uh, 32 points down. 